Retro World Expo here in Connecticut. I'm with my guy, David Apuzo, behind the camera. We are looking for weird and obscure items, preferably Nintendo and handheld CIBs. Let's go. What's up, chumps? Oh! What? What's up, cheese bags? You wanna fight this? Oh, bring it on, dog. I will have someone fight you right now. So we already shot one video, and there was a handheld over here that I wanted. Did you say you might want it? Or you? I said I might want it. Okay. We'll look at it. All right, let's look at it. Oh, oh, it looks light. It looks light? Yeah. So is it just the box? It no. Is it? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I, I, it, I mean, it has a replacement. Other than that, I think I'm good. I'd love to get that from you. It felt too good to be true, didn't it? It did. But it's not. It did. It's just real. Look at this. Talk about talking about weird and obscure. Do we know? Is this original? It's not. I don't think it's original. Absolutely nutty. Dude, the Ghostbusters. Is, look at this. It's double-sided. I wish that would fit in my room. Double-sided. Check this out. Look yeah. at the back. Nuts, dude. I would love so to have that. You can hang that from the ceiling. Oh, I'd love to have that. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. It's right here, Ray. It's looking at me. Nintendo Power practically trapper keeper. Look at this. It's like a it's like a freaking trapper it's got keeper. Magnets. Okay, okay. And so that's how it snaps shut. Yeah. Nintendo Power freaking Trapper Keeper. Is it's a, tra it's it's like a trapper Nintendo keeper. Power trapper keeper, man. All right, I, I think I'm gonna pass because there's something else over here that I like. Okay, trash cans, it's ridiculous. Look at the Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I'll, oh, I'll, wow. I'm gonna pass, that's so sick. Okay, that's the one that we wanted to look at. I was looking at that. So now I'm really gonna look like a jerk. The last two things you said you were looking at. Are you, are you interested? I think I'm okay. You think you're okay. I think I'm okay. If everyone everyone knows me, I'm very, I'm very picky. Some scratches right here that he doesn't like. I'm okay with it. The colors is what matters to me. It's nice. I'm freaking doing it. Let's go for the office. For the office. Hey, look at this. Oh, okay. So this is actually this is actually a piece that I've been looking for. If anybody has any info on where one is. The Blockbuster gumball machine, I would be totally into. I'm actually looking at a Surge cooler too right now. Can you imagine oh, having nice. a Surge cooler yeah. in this? This is dope. Fun. Nobody has more fun than Blockbuster, so if you want great takeout without the calories, make it a Blockbuster night. I would totally rock this in the store too. That's, what, it, that's what's cool about the, a lot of these cons is you see a lot of items that are like big display items, like the Ghostbuster sign. We have a fun activity today, guys. Timu reached out and sent us a bunch of awesome products for us to check out while we let you guys know about some amazing deals that they're offering. First off, they are offering a site-wide sale that has savings up to 90% off, as well as free shipping and free returns up to 90 days. First up is a portable power bank. I always need these because I'm using my phone all day long. I need to make sure it stays charged. The next item is an Apple MacBook. I have a MacBook. I like to keep these all over the place. Got me a MacBook AC adapter. Next up is a universal stylus pen for the iPad. Always good to have one of these around. Now this one is really stinking cool, guys. This is a Pokemon Switch carrying case. So this carrying case lets you put a bunch of Switch games inside of this little case. And look, it looks like a Pokedex. That's amazing. Uh, we are now selling Pokemon cards, singles, in the store. We always need these cases. They sent those. Check out this. Energy storage power. We can power the whole freaking world with this. Glad to have that. And then lastly is this walkie-talkie set. And I'm so glad that we have this because I'm always like, Michael, uh, I need me a donut, donut and a Coke Zero, please. And now I can do that. I can order them around with this awesome walkie-talkie set. If you liked any of the items that we received today, we'll put a link down in the description for you to check them out. Right now, by using my discount, DKM4586, you can snag the Nintendo Switch OLED for just $2.59 for new users. The Switch normally goes for $3.50 on other sites, so that's a massive discount you really can't beat. Download the Timu app through my link or use my code DKM4586 to claim a coupon bundle totaling $100. Again, thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. This is something that immediately got my attention when we walked in. Look at this. 
all the different TVs. It's almost like you're at a, like a Toys R Us or a Walmart or Target, like back in the 80s. All these TVs just playing different things. There's actually ones over here too that are, that are could you see the ones that were spray painted? Yeah. Those yeah. are dope. We'll, go, we'll, 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 we'll check those yeah, yeah, yeah. out too. our alley all right the supervision not many people know about this guy nor should they probably terrible terrible little handheld but i don't ever see supervision games like new and those are the games for them it's it's for it's like a handheld it's like a almost tiger handheld esque dot matrix dot matrix the supervision handheld you know this is going over me. I have to. You're gonna get any I games? I, I, yeah. What, which games, guys? Which games? We got Hero Hawk. I feel like it's gotta like look super dope. Earth Defender, Delta Hero. I think that one's pretty sweet, pretty sick. Just good old Snake. Snake. Which 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 one do you like so far? Oh, what is that one? Untouchable. It's a little yellow. I like the artwork. So this is exactly the. I mean, I'm looking for weird and obscure and handhelds. Gotta do it. All right. Wow, we're picking up some. We're picking up some. Wait. What is that? It's old and one. Yeah, but I've never seen this one. An old one, like. Would you, would you do 20? I'm probably sure. Okay. Weird. I have no idea what I just bought, but weird I, like the weird, I like the weird stuff, man. Oh, These yeah. These are super dope. All right. What's the name? Marth Art. Look at this shirt. Psycho. Marth yes, Art. Yes, got the shirt. And uh, I was going to say that's my favorite thing in this booth, but it's not. <laughs> Look at this art, y'all. Oh, my god. These are sick. It's so cool. It's so cool. So I actually got to meet them yesterday. And long story short, she found a CIB Earthbound at a garage sale. Tell people. Yeah, it's $2. How much? $2. Two what? Dollars. What? $2. Um, so there is there is an item. There is an item over here that we did our first video and I saw it and I really, really, really want this item. We'll see if it's still over here. Yes. Thumb wrestling, bro. Thumb wrestling. Get your thumbs ready. Sting. DDP. Look at these kids. They're smiling. They're forcing them. They're in the background trying to take this picture. They're like, smile. Bigger smile. Bigger smile than that, kids. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. he's tougher than beef jerky for the mighty yeah. dexterous yeah. Tom Hall. He's a good old boy and a nice young man. Hometown Huck is a poster thumb for the dexterous. All the old little Atari, or not Atari, little handheld. Coleco. Were, Coleco. The Coleco little... Um, basically arcade units. These are sick. Do you have any of these? My, my brother has the Pac-Man and I have the Donkey Kong. Oh, wow. See, they I don't, don't have, have the Donkey Kong here. What, what's that one? No, it's a, it's so it's like oh, this Pac-Man, oh, okay. only in Donkey Kong. Let's let him take it home. It's the official tabletop version of Midway's Ms. Pac-Man. Look, changing mazes and tunnels just like the arcade game. Our very own Ms. Pac-Man. <laughs> Dude, I hate to break this to you. It's not recorded. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it wasn't. I know that breaks your little heart. Oh, my God, finish results. Ooh, nice bootleg. I want to tell you that I knew that this was a bootleg when I bought it, but I did not. Just like the games you sell. Oh. I get them from China. They're super cheap. Rick, not a scumbag. Dude, I found Star Fox. Use the boot. What is this? Is this for VCS? Star Fox. Atari VCS? A Atari V. It was $9.95. I like how I'm, I like how I'm walking around like this. <laughs> Anything weird? Anything obscure? Anyone? Anyone? Seriously, anything weird or obscure? How about the old GBA Toys R Us edition? Okay, okay, I don't see that very often. Okay, so our friend Spruge game hunting. He's got a couple unique items. Hey here, Spruge! Hey, hey, that's dope. Getting dope stuff all over the place. Sucker! <laughs> How rude. He's got an N64 item that we he can't find any info on. I'm not like an expert, but I I've, I've seen a lot of things. Okay. So it's EB Games. 
and it's like a flyer. Game from EB Games. So it was handed out from from what I do know and what I was told, it was handed out when you bought the system on pre-order. And it was just like a handout. So think about how many of these were probably thrown in the trash. Oh, yeah. Probably all of them. They're serial numbered, but not out of how many? Welcome to EB Games. So the Z-Bag, typically see for NES consoles, <laughs> games, you don't see the black and red one. Have you seen this before? I've only seen it from him. Okay, so this is the only one you've seen. I've, I have never seen another one. He actually said he would do 100 bucks on this too, I think. The blue one goes for about 40 50, to 50. Yeah. Space for me is... I and that one has the instructions. It does, yes. On if you need to know how to put your Nintendo inside of a bag. There it is, guys. The there instructions for the Z-Bag. I store. mean, this this is literally like the crap that I like, but I, I want to go next to the, to, the, um, to the booth that has the item that I really, really want. Is this real? Is that what you Yeah, yeah so... He loves weird stuff like me too. He's yeah. like, is this real? Is this a thing? I'm like, this is a thing. It exists. It exists, bro. It exists, therefore it's real. <laughs> this is sick too. I want everything. This is sick. This is mine. I want everything. I can't though, I can't, I gotta pass. Oh! Can I see that? Come on in. Oh. Come on in. Okay, let's get this thing out. Yo, my, can, I, can I get it out? Just be gentle. Be gentle, I am. Okay. So, the Atari Lynx, another not so great handheld. Look at how big this box is. It's humongous. It's bigger than Rick's head. It's bigger, much bigger than my head. I have a CIB Atari Lynx, but I don't have this variant. They, have, they made two different Atari Lynx consoles, and I don't have this one. It's just the craziest console. It's so it's so cool looking though. Honking. Huge. I saw it. I knew that I had to have it. There he is, Second Chance Games. You had any wiggle room. I, I would you have four, I would throw out 420 cash. Ah, right, for you and my friend, let's do it. Dude, thank you, man. Well, thank well, you. Well, sure you feel good? Feels great, man. Yeah, let's get it. Good deal. This thing is Second Chance Video Games. Second Chance Video Games. Always, chance always video. does the best deals around, guys. I'm telling you, we'll get up, we'll get up. All right, what are you looking at over here? So these guys, good friends of mine, they have a Game Boy game that I've been wanting for years, years, and they've had it for years. One you played as a kid. One I have as a kid, and it's one of my favorite. It's stupid. It's a little pinball game. Let's see it. Called Revenge of the Gator. Let's see it. Revenge of the Gator. Revenge of the Gator. All right, let's see this. Forgotten freshness. We need you. Forgotten freshness. He even brought it for me. He brought it okay. For me. Is it about this? I want to see this. I'm trying to see this go down. Yeah. So. He's had this for, I mean, how many cons have we been to that? Yeah, had it's this been for? like six. And I even went to his, I even went to his store, and he had it in the display case, and I was like, oh. Uh, now, are you want to make an offer? What do you I do want to make an offer. It, it, it tip, I know it's minty. I know, and it has everything in there. I get it. Um, I know it goes for around forty or fifty. Would you take sixty? I would take eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Meet me in the middle. Seventy. It's from my child. <laughs> from my child. Hey, he said he'll take. Is, I could do cash. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He said he'll take eighty. You film for me. I want to pay it. I want to pay the eighty. Stop it. To get no, it for you right no. now. There's Rob. No. Rob is seeing it. No. I'm buying it right Mom, now. No, no, you're Everyone's not. happy. It's rock and roll. Friendship. Thank you, Rick. Dude, Thank you got you it, bro. So you got it. Rick, not a scumbag. So, Wes. Wes. So Wes makes these. Okay, he yep. makes these these VHS. So this, the, what does this have? Does it have like this the series? Yeah, it's like the full series. You got the Captain N episode. And there's like, let me get my like an hour with the commercials too, probably. That's like a mixtape that I made that has like a bunch of game commercials and just like complete series on VHS, dude. Are you kidding me? Dude, thank you guys so much. Yeah, it's oh, Mario. It keeps coming, dude. It keeps coming. What is this one? Saturday morning cartoon. That's on mixtape I made. Oh my god! Oh no, I don't. Not only is that one of my favorite cartoons, but it's also a bank. Dead Media Junkie, check right it out. The end of one of the awesome. Things. Thank you guys so much. We're, we're, going to, we're going to look at something very strange. I believe it's a newspaper display stand. Newspaper display. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh my god. What? Yo. And it's gonna be in the auction. And I have a truck. I might go for this. This might come out with me. Nah, it might come out with me. That'll fit in your luggage. This is this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Yeah. Like that is absolutely wild. All right, guys, really quick, because girls want to have fun is playing over here. Uh, get, don't want to get copyright struck. All right, check it out. Here's all the stuff I got. The links. Uh, Tim from the NBA Jam announcer is screaming right now. Tim's so loud. All this stuff. It was an awesome time at Game... Not Game On. Retro World Expo. Sorry, Chris. 